What's up guys, this is Titanicus here, and this server is so hard to get into. Please don't, please don't, please don't, there's no need to complicate. Hey there guys, this is Titanicus, and this is my server special. Um, this is going to be a new thing that I'm doing um, every week. Um, it's going to be about a 15 to 20 minute special of me on a server that I randomly pick off of either Planet Minecraft or just a, r a random server, pretty much. So today I'm going to be doing this Skyblock server, and what this server is, is it pretty much generates your very own Skyblock Island. Now everybody may be familiar with the Skyblock um, map, the Skyblock uh, seed, and as you can see from right up there, that's kind of an outlay of it. Pretty much it's one tree, a gigantic amount of sand, there's a piece of bedrock somewhere in there. Uh, there's also a piece of sand about somewhere there. And then there's a chest that's filled with some random stuff. So, I've already got an island on here. So, uh, here's how you... Alright, well, let me turn my chat on. Because I, I kind of hit it for you due to the fact that I didn't want anybody to do anything that I would regret. Alright, so what you would do is if you already have a uh, island, you would just do slash home. And then, as you can see, this is my place right here. And this is my island that I share with Purple Knight. And this is my little humble abode right here. Yeah, kind of snazzy. And this will stop lagging a little bit. Yeah, I grow some crops over there. I've got... Uh, just a couple floors, and then you can walk on the roof. Here's uh, Purple Knight's place. There's my other friend. His name's Indy1220. He doesn't have YouTube, but uh, but uh, yeah, he's in there. And then this is some other guy, and that used to be a gigantic tree. So since I want to actually show you guys what Skyblock is. I'm going to leave my co-op, and then next time Purple Knight gets on the server, he was the one who actually created this, and oh my gosh, this is lagging so much. Here, let me attempt to... Yeah, that's just weird. Okay, so anyway, <coughs> uh, maybe it's because I have it on... No, it's on balanced. How about fancy? Eh, a little bit. Okay, so I am going to just quickly eat. As you can see, I've got a very large inventory. Um, let me just eat some melon, there we go, and now we're all set to go and begin our own island, so all you gotta do is, once, you've, once you want to leave a co-op, you would do co-op leave, and it'll transport you back to spawn. Now, over here is some signs, there's slash new island, there's slash coop invite, which you can add people to your island if they accept it. And that. And then the same thing is over there. Um, over here, there are three things. There's the warp mob, which I will show you later. There's warp PvP, and there's warp new spawn. All of which I will show you later, and then you can trade over here. The currency on this server is grass blocks, which you can go vote on multiple sites. I will have links to both of them in the description below, although it seems one of them has actually not been working for me. Also, chat, for some reason, hasn't been working for me in, like, every single server. Like, if I were to type, hey, I'm recording on YouTube, oh, then it would, uh, huh, it's weird, then that was actually working, it's weird. Alright, so let's get a new island. So all you would do is do slash new island, and then it'll generate an island for you, and you'll spawn in this, in a very, as you can see, there's like nothing around me. Now, there's this one tree, and then in this chest, there is 12 string, a lava bucket, a bone, sugar cane, uh, both types of mushrooms, two ice blocks, pumpkin seeds, a melon, and a cactus. Now, that's all you need to survive. That and this tree. 
So what you would basic so what you basically want to start doing is you want to take this well let's actually do the wood later because we need to build ourselves a cobblestone generator. And I think what we'll do is we will do it right here. So I just gotta make sure I don't derp this up, because alright, so let me see if I remember how to do it correctly. I wanna do one there, and then two down. Oh, there's the sand. Okay, so the sand you definitely want to keep, and there's the piece of bedrock. Okay, and then you want you want one out right there, one there. Let me actually just fill this in, and then let me actually build out a little bit. All right, so I think that's how you do it. So you want the water there, you want the lava here, and this is where you stand. Alright, so let me break this, and then that. Booyah! Cobblestone generator. Now you can always expand this if you want to, but it's just pretty much regular like this. I could actually expand, expand it right there. In fact, let me do that, because I want to show you guys some cool stuff. Alright, so, and then pretty much all it is is just one down. Ah, dang it. Okay. Gah! This is already frustrating. Okay, so. Oh, great. Okay, there we go. And then you can just break that. Now, you want to harvest this tree. But you got to make sure that you keep one of these logs, and you also have to make sure that you get a sapling from this tree. <laughs> Otherwise, you're screwed. And I don't mean that in a negative connotation, but you are literally screwed. You cannot survive if you actually do this. If you actually don't get a sapling, then you are screwed. And as you can see, the tree is already starting to deteriorate, and so hopefully I can get a sap. Oh, there's one. Let me just get in the way to catch it. And there we go. There's two saplings, actually. So we can pretty much just let that tree die out if it so needs to. So we've got six oak wood. What you want to do is you want to take half of this and keep it in there. You want to take the other half and you want to refine it into planks. Now, after that, Doe would have what you do of course when you survive. You create a crafting table and then you make some sticks and then you make a pickaxe. Only a wooden pickaxe. And I'll tell you why in a minute. So you only make a wooden pickaxe due to the fact that you don't need that much resources. And you do not need to make anything else other than a wooden pickaxe for the moment. Now, once we get enough to get a stone pick, then we can begin. Then we can begin to get more stone, and we can actually uh, build some more stuff. Now, I don't know what the extra ice block is for. Oh, right, we're gonna. Yeah. So let me actually just do that. Uh, I'm trying to remember it now. I can't even follow my own advice. Derp. Oh, dang it. So, I gotta figure out how to... Okay, is there a block under this? Yes, okay. Now we gotta just go out a little bit. Because we don't want any of this flowing over the side. And... Don't, don't. And then we need one there. Alright, so... I put ice there, break it, break this dirt, cobblestone, and then you just stand here and you can do both of them. So now let's craft a sword and maybe and maybe a shovel and an axe as well. So I, I'll show you all the farming later, but right now I just want to get us 
substantial amount of cobblestone. Because, I mean, we, we could use, like, maybe, I don't know, 20 cobblestone to start with. So, I'll be right back once I'm done doing all that. So, now that we've got our 20 cobblestone, what we want to do is we want to uh, take... Uh, we want to make a furnace, so we want to do that right there. And let's put it over there. Dang it. <laughs> Derp. Uh, place it right. I'm kind of OCD about that. Alright, so what you want to do is you want to grab the logs that we saved from earlier, and what do you want to do? You want to make charcoal, which will burn longer in a furnace, and so you can smelt more stuff. Now, we ought to plant these saplings. And what this bone is for, it is, it's not used for anything other than bone meal. So we want to keep kind of like a random tree area, like right over here. Like, do one, and then a sapling just fell off. God dang it. You always want to make sure that you get a sapling from every tree that you get. Now, I, I hope that you guys are actually, like, ignoring the chat because um, there are some pretty bad things. It, so please, if you're a small child, then please do not look at the chat. So anyway, um, yeah, just collect the wood from the tree. You usually get about six pieces from a skyblock over the tree. So that's good. And then, you know, you can just start breaking leaves if you want, if you're that impatient. Or you can... Oh, well, there we go. Stop playing. Okay, and then just... You always want to make sure that you do the same process. You want to have your oak wood and turn it into planks. And then you want to save the rest for charcoal. And as you can see, we did that. And, you, and when you burn three logs, you only use two planks. So you'll have one plank left over. So as you can see, this is a prosperous... Uh, island already. Now, you could actually live off this. If it were for this. Alright, this is one melon. A melon is all you eat on this island. Is melon. So, how you eat melon is... Oh, and there's a challenge on the server also. To grow cactus. So I'm not really sure where to put that. Maybe we'll do it right here. Oh, <laughs> yeah, above the other. And there we go. There's cactus. All right, so the melon. Um, yeah, you want to convert that to melon seeds. And then you need to make a hoe. So let's grab some sticks real fast. And let's make a stone hoe. And once we're done planting, I'll show you some of the other cool features of the server itself. Um, and we'll be able to continue. Alright, so there's farmland, and there's your melon. And then it grows on that block right there, or that block right there. Or that block right there. So it can grow in three different places. As you can see, it's nighttime. So now I'm going to show you some of the other version, some of the other things in this server. So, <laughs> I forgot to make my stone sword. Okay, what the heck? Okay, so I'm going to begin with showing you the one that is... I just put my sword by. Oh. Also, you want to make a very large... You Like, you always want to have a substantial amount of swords with you. So, let me take half of... Uh... Yeah, that's good. And then that's 12 sticks. And let's grab our 8 cobblestone. And then just do that. And that'll make us 4 swords. So we've got 5 swords now. And I threw, and I threw my sticks. Never throw anything off the island, otherwise you're going to be regretful of it. So, I've got 5 swords right now. I only want to take 1 for this. Because I'm probably immediately going to die. Okay, so there are several warps in this. So let's go back to spawn. And I'll show you where all the warps are. Alright, all the warps are on this back wall right here with all these pores. 
There's warp mob, warp PvP, and warp new spawn. Now there's also more like nether trade. Um, you can warp to here. It's called warp trade. You can, there's also a nether trade and a noob spawn. And there are also a bunch of other stuff. Such as... Um, well, I don't even want to get into it. You'll have to find out for yourself. So, let's start by going to PvP. In which I will most likely die, and then I will come back. When you die, you come back to spawn. Unless, of course, you make a bed and you sleep in it. Now, as you can see by that guy named Bananaphone71. He is a spawn camper. And what they do is they pretty much just hang around this place and they donate money so that they can kick people's butts when they immediately come out of here and which is why I told you that you will most likely die unless of course you donate money or you get anything special so I'm going to just YOLO mode over here and banana phone is actually probably going to kill me if he if he sees me and I'm actually I actually got hit by something and let me just and there we go. Now I saw a ninja guy that's probably going to come in and get me. Oh, well, I actually. Oh, right, I forgot the um, beacons. They give you a speed potion. So ah, I'm probably gonna die. I just died. Okay. And then oh, I didn't know that they fixed that. Okay, apparently you warp back to your island. So that was the PvP arena, and um, you can get on top of the tower. So, let's go back to spawn for another one. I'm only going to show you five warps, and then you can figure out the rest for yourself, although I think I am pretty much going to cover them all. Alright, so there's warp mob, and what this place is, is it spawn, is it has mob spawners, and you spawn right here. It's this kind of safe building, although I don't see how it's safe anymore, because they always let mobs into it, other people. And what you pretty much do is you go around and kill mobs for items and occasionally they have really good drops in which you know you will be able to uh, use <coughs> as kind of protection and also you can trade with people and if I was at if I actually was companions with anybody else on this um, server then I would actually show you the trading but sadly I would really rather okay so as you can see I aggroed a spider and he will stay aggroed on me and and you will aggro any mob that you pass, pretty much. Even if they're aggroed on somebody else, they will start following you if you get too close. Oh, somebody just died, <laughs> and I didn't get the stuff. Dang it. Alright, so, skeleton, you can die. Now, there are some trades, also. Um, there are villagers that you can trade for stuff, and they are really helpful, also. So, actually, let me go talk to one. So, this one over here gives you an array of potions and stuff. So, and, of course, the currency is grass blocks. So, you have uh, splash potions of poison. Uh, I think that one was harming. You know, harming, healing, uh, strength, swiftness. This is the, this is probably the best deal right here. One grass block for four potions of regeneration, too. And that's good because it will fill you up in like, I think it's like 45 seconds maybe. And let me go back downstairs and through this door. And then there's this other guy, he's a blacksmith, and he will give you a stone sword with looting one, sharpness three, and knockback two, which is like the best sword you can use for this place. A wooden sword with sharpness five, eh, not too bad if you want to one-hit KO mobs. Although it's probably like really bad for getting loot, and then a le and then a leather chest plate with projectile protection four, protection four, and blast protection one. That's it. And let's go back to spawn. If it'll go, okay. Um, how about we just do slash home? Uh oh, I might be stuck in here. Oh my god. Oh, the server froze. Dang it. Oh, okay, it's back. And I just I just almost fell on my own lava. Okay, so, as you can see, I got ten arrows, six bones, and five rotten flesh. 
from that. And my sword is only very, yeah. So, let's go back to spawn. Now, uh, oh, here's something. So, in the server, it'll say Ninja Mai, it'll say, like, a name, and then just receive a grass block, or two grass blocks, and then it'll give you the voting sites. And then if you click on one, sometimes, then you can, uh, do, then you can get some, then you can, um, get grass blocks, which you can use. So, now let's go to Warp New Spawn. Because I'm not really sure. I actually have no idea. I think this is actually New Spawn. So, yeah, but everybody's like, this server is lagging so much. Okay, so this is new spawn, and it has a ton of features, and it's a very wide place, and there's crops, and a bunch of other stuff. Uh, there's a parkour challenge somewhere here. I'm not really going to go, I'm not going to go into it due to the lack of um, have, wanting to do something. <laughs> Fire. All over an island, which I have absolutely no idea about. So, yeah, that was New Spawn. And then, one place that people often forget about, and you'll see it's kind of desolate maybe, is Nether Trade. And it'll warp me to Nether Trade, hopefully. Or just drop me out of the world. <laughs> Great. Yeah, I'm gonna die in a minute, maybe. I'm stuck in limbo! Dang it! Why am I stuck in limbo? This is retarded! Ah! Dang it! Okay, um, I will be right back. Hey guys, I'm finally back, and what happened was there was an e internal exception, and I died, and I fell out of the world, and then I got kicked out of- and then I got disconnected from the server. So anyway, this is another trade. <laughs> It is, there's lava, like, all the way above there, so I wouldn't recommend, like, being a donor and getting any of that out. Anyway, what you do is you go down to these villagers here, and I'm just walking, and they will trade stuff for nether-related items. So, like, a fence and, re and some red dye for a nether brick fence, and nether brick stairs, and nether brick, and yada yada yada. Cobble and two red for nether rack and just a bunch of other stuff. I personally like the uh, cobblestone and 16 yellow dye for glowstone, although I do think that they should cut that down to maybe about like six, six yellow. And then there's nine redstone for nether ward. I'm not really sure how that really does that. And don't mind the mess we're still in. <laughs> I never saw that sign before. Oh, a stick in, uh, that, that should definitely be reduced to, like, 16 for a thing as important as a blaze rod. Okay, and finally, I'm not really sure what I want to do. Um, I think I might just end it off here. So, yeah, this has been, or, you know what, no, actually, I've got one more place to show you. And this is actually, like, really hard to get into. So I'm actually gonna... Ooh, I don't... Damn it! I don't have any food with me, so... I don't have any food. So I don't have any food with me, so I'm going to need to just tough it out on this one. Oh, hey, that guy's a flaming cape. That's kind of funny. <laughs> so, uh... Let me see. Alright... Does that guy have hero by nice? Yeah, yeah, kinda. Okay. So anyway, this is a Christmas tree. And this was added back in, I'm not really sure when. So it's pretty much just a gigantic parkour thing. And what you do is you want to get a little bit of a head start. And you want to aim for that yellow block that I totally missed. Um, once you're done with that, what you want to do is you want to just get down there. You just want to get down there as easy as possible, making sure not to kill yourself, which I did. Oh, great. Well, just great. Anyway, what's down there is kind of like a secret hangout that allows, that doesn't have anything in it, but it's, you know, just there is like an accomplishment, I suppose. So, anyways...
I think I might end off right about here. Uh, I'm just <laughs> kind of reading the chat for some reason. I don't know why. So, uh, yeah, this is my island, I suppose. Um, I will probably be playing a lot more of this in the future. I might even make a series out of it. So, until then, I am going to end off this episode here. So, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and comment. This is Titanicus.